Chapter 296 Escape Lin Dong's complexion was pale as he stared at the place the terrifying aura had exploded from. That was indeed the direction the Manifestation Martial Tablet was located. Evidently, the aura's owner should be the mysterious skeleton he had sensed before. Boom! The aura was unfathomably terrifying. When it erupted, the sky changed color and Lin Dong could clearly feel all the Yuan power in the ancient tablet space start to rebel at this moment. At an astonishing speed, it gathered at the place the aura had originated from. From the looks of it, it was as if some frightening thing had been awoken. Lin Dong's hands involuntarily shivered. This was not fear, but an instinctual response to that terrifying aura, because he knew that under that kind of aura, no matter if one was at the initial or advanced manifestation stage, all would be akin to dust-like existences. Even with the rays in his current strength, and the rather astonishing great desolate imprisoning heavenly finger he had obtained from the manifestation martial tablet, he still understood that if the owner of the terrifying aura wanted to kill him, it would be as easy as a flip of the hand. The him at that time would not even have the slightest bit of power to resist. Little Martin, Little Flame, quickly leave. His eyes frantically flickering, Lin Dong abruptly stood up and loudly shouted at the two beasts in front of him. He did not know why but he could feel a sense of unease. The mysterious skeleton was likely the final guardian the ancient sect had left behind, and they could all be considered as foreigners who had come to disturb this land. If the guardian was roused, it would not easily let them off. Although many practitioners had entered the ancient tablet space, Lin Dong knew that before the mysterious skeleton, they were but a matter easily solved with a slap. Hence, the correct path now was to quickly leave this ancient tablet space. Upon hearing Lin Dong's shout, Little Martin nodded its head, its claws swiftly dancing as circles of purplish black light burst forth. Within the light, a mini-sized blood-colored blood bat dragon was forcibly and slowly removed from the corpse. While Little Martin removed the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit, to one side, Little Flame maniacally devoured the blood bat dragon's blood power. Under this ferocious devouring, the blood bat dragon's humongous body swiftly shriveled, the hard scales also quickly withering and crumbling. Lin Dong twisted his fingers together as he stared at the two now greedy fellows, feeling helpless. His gaze was tightly fixed in the direction of the manifestation martial tablet, a long while later, his expression changed, because he had seen a huge number of people seemingly covering the sky and earth as they escaped from that direction. From their crazed looks, it was as if there was some terrifying thing chasing them. Upon seeing this scene, Lin Dong's scalp instantly turned numb. Sure enough, the Guardian did not plan to let the outsiders who had charged into the ancient tablet space off. Enough, quickly leave. When Lin Dong's scalp turned numb, Little Martin finally successfully removed the Blood Bat Dragon's demonic spirit. It knew that there was no time for refining now and immediately swallowed the spirit into its body. With a flash of its figure, it fled to Lin Dong's shoulder. Roar! When Little Martin finished, Little Flame also finally released its huge maw that was devouring the Blood Bat Dragon's blood power. Although it had not completely refined the power, blood-colored scales had already started growing on Little Flame's body. When sunlight shined on them, they appeared rather majestic. Moreover, the biggest change was Little Flame's unique python tail. Little Flame's original body was the most ordinary fire python tiger, and the python tail was merely a decoration. Yet, the python tail was now increasingly lively, so much so that there were even layers of blood-colored scales growing on it. At the python's head, blood eyes stared while its mouth was all the more malevolent, so realistic that it was practically a ferocious python dragon. After releasing its mouth, Little Flame's now slightly blood-colored lightning wings swiftly spread out, as Lin Dong quickly hopped on. The lightning wings shook, bringing with it the sound of thunder as it instantly charged into the sky, desperately flying towards a distant area. The boundless ancient tablet space had become extremely chaotic in an instant. Everyone was desperately fleeing towards the ancient tablet space exit. Their panicked looks made it seem as if they were being chased by a reaper's scythe. 
due to the fact that Lin Dong had long left the manifestation martial tablet area, when he fled, he could be considered to be at the front. However, figures frantically caught up all around him from time to time. To escape, everyone had practically gone mad. These fools, did they really believe that the ancient sex treasure hoard was so easy to obtain? That mysterious skeleton's aura is extremely terrifying. From what I can see, without reaching the five Yuan Nirvana strength, no one will be able to deal with it. Little Martin sat on Lin Dong's shoulder, and could not help but shake its head and remark as it watched the frantically fleeing figures which filled the sky. Five Yuan Nirvana. The corners of Lin Dong's eyes slightly twitched. Don't bother mentioning five Yuan Nirvana, even a one Yuan Nirvana was extremely rare in the Great Yan Empire. Lin Langtian and the rest were really stupid beyond belief, they actually dared to provoke this kind of thing. If that terrifying fellow charged out of the ancient tablet space, who in the Great Yan Empire would be able to stop it? Forget it, don't bother too much, it's more important to escape first. Helplessly shaking his head, Lin Dong realized that these were groundless fears. What he needed to care about now was to first protect his tiny self so that he would not be casually dealt with by the mysterious skeleton. When these words fell, he grabbed onto little flame as blood-colored light immediately erupted from the latter's body, and its speed instantly soared. It looks like after devouring the blood bat dragon's blood power this time, little flame's strength had again risen considerably. This speed was enough to match a manifestation stage practitioner. While Lin Dong swiftly fled for his life, his eyes could not help but turn to look behind. In the far distance, black clouds turned in the skies as tornadoes frantically took form, connecting the sky and land. It looked like a great flood, an extremely terrifying sight. As the sky full of dark clouds rushed forth, a tiny figure stepped on the storm and swept across the skies at an astonishing speed. No one saw it move in the slightest, as some of the nearby practitioners' bodies exploded into a bloody mist with a bang, with not even a single bit of flesh remaining. It's the mysterious skeleton, it has indeed given chase. Lin Dong stared at the figure atop the storm as his pupils abruptly shrank. Soon after, a chill swept across his entire body. If it can be said that everyone here were able to combine forces to deal with the manifestation stage blood bat dragon, then before this mysterious skeleton, even if everyone joined hands, they would not be able to shake that level of power in the slightest. Because both sides' powers were practically on a completely different level. Those of the manifestation stage were top-tier practitioners even in the entire Great Yan Empire. If one were to advance to the Nirvana stage, one would be invincible. The gap between top tier and invincible was not tiny. Moreover, reaching the nirvana stage was akin to stepping into another dimension. Every little movement could propel the Yuan power of heaven and earth and a punch would be impossible to follow. That kind of might was earth-shattering and compared to the three creation stages, it was on a completely different scale. That kind of situation was like a huge dragon chasing a group of sheep. No matter how these sheep resisted, they were but a matter akin to a single slap. Thus, at this time, resistance was certain death, one would only have a chance at survival by fleeing. Eh, Lin Langtian and those fellows have come. From his shoulder, Little Martin suddenly spoke. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed as he slightly tilted his head. Sure enough, he saw the four great clans, the Great Devil Sect the ghastly puppet cult and the other great factions all flying over towards his direction. Their numbers were many and together, they urged a soul treasure to fly. Their speed was faster than even Little Flame. When we arrived, I saw the map. Not far in this direction is a place where the space is comparatively frail. If we can gather people to tear it open, we do not need to escape from other exits. Within the ancient tablet space, there was more than a single exit, however, this place was the nearest. It was likely that Lin Langtian and the rest intended on tearing apart the space and quickly leave this god-forsaken place. Swish! While Lin Dong spoke, the huge group directly flew over from over. After which, 
the former suddenly sensed the, the mysterious skeleton's attention lock onto this area from a far distance behind. To be more precise, it seemed to have targeted Lin Lang Tian. God damn it, those fellows must have taken several items from the underground palace. That's why they have been targeted by the mysterious skeleton. When he sensed this, Lin Dong's expression slightly darkened as his eyes flickered. This huge escape lasted for several minutes and more and more practitioners exploded into a bloody mist in the air. As he sensed the terrifying aura come closer and closer, Lin Dong's expression became a little grim. Swish swish. While Lin Dong's expression turned grim, the group to his front suddenly stopped. Soon after, figures quickly flew from the humongous soul treasure onto a mountain, before numerous practitioners struck out pillar after pillar of Yuan power pillars. Immediately, a crack in space was torn apart in the sky above the mountain. Go! Lin Lang Tian, the Wang clan and the ghastly puppet cult practitioners steadied the crack and loudly shouted out, as the great faction's members swiftly swept into the crack in space. Everyone please go no further. This crack in space is unable to bear much force, it cannot sustain too many people. While the great faction members entered, some practitioners from the four great clans issued a stern warning, and even used you in power to form an obstruction in front of the mountain to prevent other people from passing through. God damn it, you bastards. Charge in, don't bother with them. This action undoubtedly incited the rage of some of the practitioners behind. Under the threat of death, they could not be bothered what great faction they came from and directly charged towards the crack in space. However, in the end, they were still blasted back by some of the practitioners from the four great sects. Little Flame also halted in front of the mountain, and as Lin Dong saw these fellows' actions, his expression also turned a little ugly. Lin Dong is still outside, let him in. Lin Ker was coincidentally on the mountain. She immediately caught sight of Lin Dong on the tiger's back and hastily shouted. You go in first. Lin Longtian's gaze flickered as his palm hit Lin Ker's body, a force pushing her into the crack. Ha, Lin Langtian, from what I can see, the crack seems to be unable to support anyone else right. Wang Tong's gaze flickered, as he sinisterly chuckled. Yes, Elder Wang Tong is right. To one side. Teng Lei also sneered and said. Currently, the crack in space was being stabilized by Lin Langtian, the Wang clan and the ghastly puppet cult practitioners. The other factions had already entered the crack, hence, the choice of letting Lin Dong enter or not fell to the three of them. Do as you see fit. Lin Longtian's cast a glance at Lin Dong, his gaze slightly flickering before he let out an indifferent laugh. His body turned and intended to enter the crack in space. This action of his completely left the decision to Wang Tong and Tang Lei, and given their hatred towards Lin Dong, the outcome was very obvious. When he saw Lin Longtian's actions, Lin Dong's eyes also turned increasingly cold, this piece of trash. Boom. However, just as Lin Langjian turned and was about to enter the crack in space, a huge vortex suddenly appeared in the sky above the mountain. Quickly, an ash grey bone hand reached out from within and grabbed downwards. A suction force erupted, and a Kyunkin bag flew out from Lin Longtian's sleeves. Bastard! When he saw the Kyunkin bag fly out, Lin Longtian's expression instantly changed. Come over! This scene also caused Lin Dong to be startled for a moment. His gaze maniacally flickered as he abruptly grabbed out and actually directly intercepted the Kyunkin bag midway. As he watched the Kyunkin bag land in Lin Dong's hand, Lin Longtian's face instantly turned green. Chapter 297 Seizing the Treasure and Fleeing Lin Dong, hand it over. Lin Longtian's complexion was green as he stared at the Lin Dong who had caught the Kyunkin bag, and ferociously shouted. In your dreams. Lin Dong sneered, not giving the Lin clan genius the slightest bit of face. These no good bastards they actually planned on leaving him here. Although there were also other stable exits in other places, now that the mysterious guardian was chasing them, how could there be any time for them to rush to another exit? 
from Lin Longdian's nervous look and the mysterious guardian's action to snatch back the Qunkin bag, the items stored inside should be treasures the former had collected from the underground palace. Since this thing had landed in Lin Dong's hands, there should absolutely be no reason to spit out back out. You dare to disobey my words. Upon seeing Lin Dong actually rebuff him, Lin Longdian's eyes turned dark. Given his status in the Lin clan, let us not mention an insignificant branch family member like Lin Dong, even some of the elders in the clan did not dare to go against Lin Langtian at all. Hence, the scene before his eyes undoubtedly caused him to feel that his dignity was being challenged. What do you think you are? If you have the ability come out. Lin Dong's eyes turned cold. He hated Lin Longdian's super arrogant tone the most and immediately unceremoniously sneered in reply. You. Upon hearing this, killing intent burst forth from Lin Longdian's eyes. He actually could not bear the fury in his heart and wanted to kill Lin Dong. Lin Langtian, if you're going to court death don't drag us into it. That ghastly thing has already caught up, it clearly will not let anyone bring the treasures out of the ancient tablet space. Whoever holds those things will be pressured continuously, if you really cannot part with it, go out yourself, we will not accompany you. When he saw that Lin Langtian was about to make a move, Wang Tong immediately shouted. Their operation this time could be considered as a crushing failure. Moreover, after they entered the underground palace, they simple had no time to obtain the treasures before the mysterious skeleton was awoken. As they fled, only Lin Langtian was swift enough to collect some Nirvana pills. This caused them to be rather envious, but fortunately, these items were now snatched away. This undoubtedly caused Wang Tong's and the rest's hearts to become a little more balanced. Hence, they naturally would not let Lin Langtian take a risk to snatch it back again. After hearing Wang Tong's shout, Lin Langtian became a little more clear-headed. He took a look at the far-off storming mysterious figure behind as a deep fear rose in his eyes. He understood that with his current power, he was absolutely unable to even exchange half a move with the mysterious skeleton. Lin Dong, you'd best survive. In the clan gathering next year, I will let you know in front of the whole clan that since I could easily cripple your father, I can also easily beat you till you become worthless. Branch family members should have petty and low attitudes. Having delusions of challenging the dignity of the clan will naturally bring punishment. Lin Longdian's expression was sinister as he venomously declared. At that time, I will let you know exactly who will become trash. Lin Dong unwaveringly stared at Lin Langtian as a vicious expression also surfaced on his face. He undoubtedly hated the latter to the core. I will wait for you, you useless thing. However, you'd better pray that you survive first. Lin Langtian deeply inhaled, suppressing the fury in his heart. Without further ado, he directly turned around and dove into the crack. Truly a pity about that high-class symbol puppet. Lin Dong, this ancient tablet space will be your grave. Tang Lei maliciously laughed. Little bastard, this old one has long ago told your excessive arrogance will receive its just deserts. Ha <laughs> ha. Wang Tong also maliciously chuckled. The gaze with which he looked at Lin Dong was exceptionally full of ridicule. Old fogey Wang Tong, piece of shit Tang Lei, don't be prematurely happy. Lin Dong's expression was dark as he retorted. Ha ha, kid, wait till you pass this trail before you speak those words. Wang Tong and Tang Lei let out a hearty laugh as their figures dove into the crack. With a wave, the crack exploded. The remaining vigorous Yuan power undulations disturbed the space in the area, and if one wanted to once again tear open a crack, one would need to completely disperse these undulations. However, at that time, the mysterious skeleton would likely already arrive. These fellows clearly did not plan on giving Lin Dong the slightest chance of escaping. Those shameless bastards! Upon seeing this scene, little Martin could not help but curse in rage. When the surrounding practitioners saw the crack close, they involuntarily let out a series of curses, but soon after, they hastily scattered and fled towards other exits. 
Lin Dong's coldly stared at the place Lin Langtian, Wang Tong, and the rest had disappeared before grasping the Kyunkin bag in his hand as mental energy quickly invaded it. Immediately, his expression turned rather exciting because he had found that this Kyunkin bag was actually full of Nirvana pills, and there were at least several hundred. Waves of frightening Yuan power rippled in the Kyunkin bag. This kind of undulation caused Lin Dong to stare blankly into space. He had painstakingly charged into the stone pavilion only to obtain two Nirvana pills from the skeleton. Never did he imagine that so many pills had actually directly appeared inside this Kyunkin bag. God damn it! No wonder Lin Langtian looked as if his parents had died. It turns out that he had obtained so many Nirvana pills in the underground palace. The corners of Lin Dong's mouth drew back as he said. Ha, that fellow's appetite is not small. No wonder the mysterious skeleton gave chase with the intent of taking this thing back. Little Martin released a weird laugh. Soon after, it stroked its face with its claws and said, However, now that you've snatched the Kyunkin bag, doesn't it mean that the mysterious skeleton, will be chasing after you? The smile that had just formed on Lin Dong's face instantly froze. Soon after, his abruptly padded little flame, quick, run. As Lin Dong's hurried shout fell, Little Flame immediately spread out its blood-tinged lightning wings, transforming into a bolt of lightning as it swiftly flew off. Lin Dong understood that Nirvana pills were necessary to attack the Nirvana stage, and this kind of thing was also extremely difficult to obtain. He believed that even some advanced manifestation stage practitioners would drool at these hundreds of Nirvana pills. Hence, he naturally did not have any intention of giving it away. Even if holding onto these things would draw the mysterious skeleton to kill him, if it did not come to a crucial point, no one would bear to give up. Even Lin Dong did not have that kind resolution, after all, there was always danger when seeking riches. Boom boom. While Lin Dong frantically fled. It has indeed come. While Little Flame did its best to run away, Lin Dong the aura behind them lock onto him. Immediately. A wave of numbness spread across his scalp, however, there was no other way at this time. If he did not want to lose the Nirvana pills he obtained, he could only desperately flee. Thus, a strange sight immediately appeared in the vast ancient tablet space. To the front, a figure desperately struggled, while not far behind him, the weather rumbled and the world changed color, as if doomsday has come. While fleeing for his life, Lin Dong encountered many other people with the same destination, however, these unfortunate fellows' speed were far from being able to keep up with Little Flames, and they just happened to be on the same path as Lin Dong. Immediately, they exploded into bloody mists, a sight that made one's blood turn cold. Lin Dong, quick, endure for a little while more and we'll reach the next exit. Little Martin sat on Lin Dong's shoulder looking back at the mysterious skeleton which drew nearer and nearer as it said in a strained tone. If it was at its peak, it would naturally not fear this mysterious skeleton. Unfortunately, it was now not at its full power, hence it still needed to keep a low profile. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong secretly grumbled, it was useless to rush him as they now depended on Little Flame to escape. If not for Little Flame's speed, their fate would likely be not much different than those unfortunate fellows. Roar. As if it understood the urgings of man and Martin, Little Flame abruptly released a roar and the blood color on its lightning wings actually suddenly became even thicker. A layer of blood-colored scales grew out, covering the lightning wings in the blink of an eye, so much so that the wings area increased substantially. At this crucial moment, Little Flame seemed to have once again refined some of the Blood Bat Dragon's blood power it had devoured previously. Pop! Enormous blood-colored wings unfolded outwards, and with a burst of strength, gales formed below the wings. Little Flame's speed abruptly soared, leaving behind a faint blood-colored afterimage in the sky. Little Flame's sudden rise and speed caused Lin Dong to be taken aback, but soon after, he was delighted. At this speed, even a manifestation stage practitioner would be unable to keep up. Under Little Flame's high speed flying, after several minutes, a huge energy vortex appeared on the nearby planes. 
It was the exit which led to the outside world. At this time, there were still quite a number of people surrounding the energy vortex, however, when they saw the storm that was unfurling in the distant skies, their faces instantly turned deathly white as they flocked to the energy vortex, not daring to be even the slightest bit slow. Little flame, quick, charge out. Currently, Lin Dong was also wildly delighted. With a low shout, Little Flame's blood wings shook, bringing in its wake strong winds as it made it beeline for the energy vortex. Hmm. However, just as Little Flame was about to enter the vortex, a furious and bizarre noise seemed to burst out from the storm behind them. The Yuan power of the land instantly boiled, swiftly gathering above the energy vortex before actually condensing into a Yuan power wall that was several hundred meters large that completely enveloped the energy vortex. The blood-colored light that was Little Flame's charging figure suddenly came to a halt as they stared at the seemingly heavenly pillar-like Yuan power blockade before them. Lin Dong's heart immediately turned ice cold, this method was truly too frightening. Gulp! Lin Dong swallowed a mouthful of spit and slowly turned his head, only to see the violent storm descending onto the plains. Immediately, the ground cracked as an ash-gray skeleton stepping on hurricane slowly floated out from the black clouds. Its bone hands spread out as a aura of death stealthily gathered. We've really done it this time. As he watched at the mysterious skeleton's actions, Lin Dong's scalp instantly numbed. Chapter 298 Black Symbol The sky-encompassing storm rumbled as wave after wave of strong winds blew while terrifying Yuan power undulations tore at the plains below. This astonishing sight caused fear to fill one's heart. Within the storm, the mysterious skeleton was already slowly floating nearby not far from Lin Dong. As he stared at the ash-gray skeleton and the dim red light flickering in its eyes, Lin Dong swallowed a mouthful of saliva, while urging the Yuan power in his body to the maximum as the heavenly scales martial technique flashed in his hands. Roar! Little Flame was also able to sense how terrifying this thing was. Immediately, it let loose a low roar, the blood-colored wings on its body slightly raising, forming a protective screen, safeguarding Lin Dong behind it. What do we do now? Lin Dong's scalp was numb as he asked Little Martin on his shoulder. There seemed to be no way to escape now. If it's truly not possible, first throw the Kyunkin bag. Little Martin helplessly replied. You stupid Martin, you usually brag about how awesome you are can you be at least a little useful at critical moments? Lin Dong gritted his teeth and retorted. Upon hearing this, little Martin could not help but become somewhat embarrassed, God damn it, this thing is no ordinary foe, when I was at my peak. When he heard that this fellow was going to talk about its peak period again, Lin Dong could not help but be speechless. His hand tightly gripped the ancient heavenly scales halberd, too lazy to waste any more words on that fellow. Even if he threw away the Kyunkin bag now, the mysterious skeleton might still not easily let him go. Since that was so, he could only give his all. Hey hey, stop looking as if your parents had died. Although Grandpa Martin cannot beat this ghastly thing, escaping while bringing you along is still possible. Though the price will be extremely high. Little Martin grinned as it very helplessly said. I hope so. Now. Lin Dong did not plan on placing his hopes on this unreliable fellow. His gaze was tightly fixed on the mysterious skeleton. From the Yuan power that suddenly turned violent around the latter's body, he knew that this ghastly thing was about to make its move. Thieves will be killed without pardon. The mysterious skeleton stood on the tornado while its eyes flickered with red light. A exceptionally coarse voice slowly spread out from its mouth. The voice seemed to bring with it an endless killing intent that could change even the color of the land. As the coarse voice sounded out, the mysterious skeleton's ash-gray hand abruptly reached out. Quickly, the Yuan power of the land screamed and actually directly condensed into a huge earth-shattering Yuan power bone hand in the air. The bone hand slapped downwards, directly exploding the air, and immediately furiously slapping down onto Lin Dong. With its power, even a mountain would be instantly shattered to bits. In the face of this attack, a pale look surfaced on Lin Dong's face. In the next instant, 
a fierce light abruptly flickered in his eyes. Since he had no way out, he could only desperately fight. Let me see exactly how capable a guardian like you are. Lin Dong bellowed. Soon after, his hands suddenly formed extremely abstruse seals in succession. As the seals changed, the surrounding Yuan power started to boil, so much so that even surrounding Yuan power of the land also gave signs of being drawn in. Boom boom! Waves of Yuan power from the land strangely gathered around Lin Dong, faintly, giving off a powerful aura. The astonishing thing was that utilizing the Yuan power of the land was an ability Nirvana stage practitioners had. Yet, it was now done by a Lin Dong who had just reached the Qi creation stage. If this scene was seen by Wang Tong and the rest, they would definitely piss in their pants. If you want to kill me, I'll have to give you a taste of this great desolate imprisoning heavenly finger. Yuan power screamed as a vicious look surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes. He stepped forward and pointed at the sky. As Lin Dong's finger thrust forth, the strong winds in the sky seemed to become quiet in this moment and the billowing black clouds were quickly ripped apart. Yuan power gathered as a huge pitch black finger that was about several hundred meters large cut open the sky like an enormous black meteorite, bringing along a unique desolate aura and viciously shooting towards the mysterious skeleton. Great desolate imprisoning heavenly finger. This was the manifestation martial art Lin Dong had obtained from the manifestation martial tablet. He did not expect that his usage of it would be able to automatically gather the Yuan power of the land. Furthermore, when the great desolate imprisoning heavenly finger pointed towards the mysterious skeleton, the surrounding Yuan power of the land behind the latter strangely froze, as there was a prison that trapped the mysterious skeleton within, making it unable to move. Of course, with Lin Dong's current strength, even if he used the great desolate imprisoning heavenly finger, he was clearly unable to truly bind the mysterious skeleton. Thus, the frozen Yuan power only lasted for two blinks of an eye before it was directly jolted apart by the mysterious skeleton. With a wave of its bone hand, a humongous white bone palm print clashed with the enormous pitch black finger, causing a loud boom to sound out. Boom! At the moment of impact, the land instantly shook as incomparable Yuan power storms unfurled. The black clouds and strong winds in the sky were practically completely obliterated in a split second. Yuan power storms rippled across the ground. Immediately, huge waves of sand appeared on the plains, reaching hundreds of meters in height as they unfurled in a ring shape, sweeping away in all directions. In that instant, the entire plains became a mess. At the epicenter of the Yuan power storms, the bone palm and enormous pitch black finger frantically released terrifying ripples and storms. In the end, they both exploded with a huge bang. Lin Dong was actually able to rely on his Qi creation stage strength to forcibly withstand the terrifying mysterious skeleton's blow. Plop. However, although he withstood this attack, Lin Dong's expression instantly turned deathly pale. A mouthful of fresh blood wildly spewed from his mouth, and even the traces of blood were forcefully jolted out from the pores all over his body. In a split second, he had entirely become a blood person. After spitting out a mouthful of fresh blood, Lin Dong unsteadily stepped back about a hundred steps before his somewhat sorry figure stabilized. Currently, the Yuan power in his body was completely used up due to the previous attack. That goddamn thing is a little too frightening, Lin Dong wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth as he felt the injuries in his body and could not help but let out a bitter laugh. Though he barely managed to withstand the other party's attack the cost to him was truly not small. Invaders will be killed without pardon. Red light flickered in the mysterious skeleton's eyes as an emotionless voice slowly sounded out. Soon after, a bone palm stamped on the sky as frightening Yuan power once again condensed above its head. In a short few moments, ten enormous Yuan power bone palms which were even bigger than before were formed as a terrifying shockwave spread out from them. Upon seeing this scene, Lin Dong's vision involuntarily turned a little dark. Enduring one bone palm had already cost him his full power, against ten of them, there would likely not even be dust left of him. You're really too impetuous you brat, actually daring to directly face off against this ghastly thing. 
Little Martin flashed onto Lin Dong's shoulders while Little Flame also dashed out and guarded Lin Dong from the front as it released a furious roar at the mysterious skeleton. What do we do now? Lin Dong deeply inhaled. This was truly a life or death moment, if there was no longer any way, they would likely all die here. Relax, you will not die. Little Martin shook its head. Within its gaze was a little hesitation and struggle. Moments later, it finally sighed as it stretched out two claws and put them on Lin Dong's and Little Flame's bodies as if it wanted to do something. Boom boom. The mysterious skeleton's palm prints moved and soon after it suddenly stretched out a bone hand. Immediately, the world changed color as the ten sky-covering huge bone palms furiously slapped down onto Lin Dong. Under this level of attack, the space a thousand meters around Lin Dong was completely destroyed while Lin Dong's body was made completely immobile by the berserk Yuan power. This was not a fight of the same level. As he stared at the bone palms which were speedily enlarging in his eyes, Lin Dong deeply inhaled. Now, he could only see if Little Martin had any methods, or else, the Great Wasteland's ancient tablet would truly become his grave today. Little Martin's eyes were tightly fixed on the sky. At its claws, purplish black lift swiftly gushed out. Within this purplish light was a faint sliver of purplish gold. As that purple glow erupted, little Martin's eyes gradually turned deep black. One could tell that it was forcibly trying to display something. The purplish black luster grew increasingly rich as the bone palms which was full of destructive power arrived. Before they landed, the several tens of meters of the plane had already crumbled as if it had become an enormous basin. CHCH Purplish black light swiftly wrapped around Lin Dong and Little Flame, however, just as Little Martin prepared its final struggle against the mysterious skeleton, a unique undulation suddenly spread out from Lin Dong's body. Buzz buzz! Towards this undulation, Lin Dong had a face full of shock. Before he could regain his wits, a black light suddenly swept out from his kyunkin bag, transforming into a black symbol which floated above his head. Boom! The black symbol quietly hovered above Lin Dong's head, not giving off any energy undulations, but, the ten bone palms full of destructive power suddenly froze at this instant. At the same time, the rebelling Yuan power of the land end, the floating mysterious skeleton likewise froze in place. The mysterious skeleton's eyes locked onto the black symbol, red light flickering. In the end, under Lin Dong's astonished gaze, it slowly bent down in the sky and kneeled down on one knee towards the black symbol. Chapter 299 Curse Power Ten humongous Yuan power bone palms were frozen in the sky. They blocked the sky and sun while full of destructive power which continuously surged downwards, tearing extremely terrifying cracks on the ground. However, these Yuan power bone palms did show any signs of landing. It looked as if they were locked in the air or stuck in the sky, unable to move even the slightest bit. Below these Yuan power bone palms, the black symbol silently floated like an invisible wall protecting Lin Dong, seemingly weak but unable to be broken. This is... Lin Dong gazed in astonishment at the frozen Yuan power bone palms before looking towards the mysterious skeleton that had knelt down in the sky. In the end, his eyes finally locked onto the black symbol above him. This was the thing that the black-eyed old man had left him in the altar so as to break the seal on the devouring ancestral symbol. Little Martin also paused its movements because of this scene as it muttered in astonishment, that old fellow seems to have an extremely high status in this ancient section. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head while cautiously observing the mysterious skeleton. His hand tightly gripped the ancient heavenly scales halberd, not daring to relax in the slightest. Under Lin Dong's nervous gaze, the black symbol suddenly emitted some black light. As the black light shined down, the enormous Yuan power bone palm actually started to crumble. In a short few moments, it transformed into specks of light which filled the sky before slowly scattering. Buzz buzz! After breaking the Yuan power bone palm, the black symbol suddenly gave off a strange buzzing noise. Under this buzzing noise, the red light in the mysterious skeleton's eyes gradually faded. In the sky, it respectfully bowed three times to the black symbol. Faintly, 
a vague voice that seemed to originate from ancient times sounded out, causing one to feel a sense of sadness. This once great and powerful ancient sect had now transformed into desolate ruins. Only an ancient will still stubbornly protected this space. Lin Dong gently sighed as the fierce look in his eyes gradually weakened. He solemnly cupped his fists together and bowed towards the kneeling mysterious skeleton. Relying on a will to protect the sect, this kind of person should be a true hero who he was alive and hence worthy of respect. In the sky, the mysterious skeleton bowed three times before once again standing up. It looked towards Lin Dong and suddenly beckoned with its hand, a suction force gushed out as the Qunkin bag Lin Dong had snatched from Lin Langtian flew out. As the Qunkin bag flew out, Lin Dong was momentarily stunned. Soon after, he helplessly let out a bitter laugh and did not make a move to snatch it back. He knew that if it were not for the black symbol today, the mysterious skeleton would not so easily let them off. Since that fellow was determined to retrieve these Nirvana pills, it only meant that his luck was not enough. Under Lin Dong's somewhat regretful gaze, the Qunkin bag landed in the mysterious skeleton's palm. With a jolt, the Nirvana pills within all flew out, transforming into perfectly round fiery red pills which floated in mid-air. Waves of vigorous without equal energy was emitted from them. It was as traces of strange flames covered these pills. As these flames rolled about, they condensed into various tiny birds and phoenixes, like a phoenix nirvana, an extremely magical sight. Hundreds of nirvana pills hovered around the mysterious skeleton. Soon after, its bone hands waved as the nirvana pills suddenly started to spin at high speeds. Threads of strange black chi slowly diffused out from the nirvana pills before tunneling into the mysterious skeleton's body. As he stared at this sight, Lin Dong was immediately stunned. He could feel an extremely sinister and mysterious undulation from the strange black chi. Lucky fellow, there was actually curse power within these nirvana pills. To one side, when little Martin saw the danger disappear, it dispersed the purplish black energy. It gazed at the strange black chi and suddenly remarked in an alarmed voice. Curse power? What is that? Lin Dong was taken aback as he curiously inquired. Ha <laughs> ha, an extremely vicious means in ancient times. If the Nirvana pills filled with curse power were consumed by someone, not only would he be unable to break through to the Nirvana stage, his body and even mind would be corroded by the curse power, and in the end, he would become a puppet-like existence. Little Martin let out a strange chuckle as it replied. Kid, you've truly escaped calamity this time. If you were allowed to take away and consume these Nirvana pills, you will have truly suffered in the future. Cold sweat covered Lin Dong's head as he heard this. Never did he think that the ancient sect methods would be so vicious, and even these Nirvana pills would be so odd. What a pity, I truly should have left these things to Lin Lang Tian. After fearfully thinking about it for a while, Lin Dong suddenly remarked. If he knew that something had been done to these Nirvana pills, he should have just directly handed them over to Lin Langtian. When all was said and done, him snatching these Nirvana pills had instead allowed Lin Langtian to escape a catastrophe. This truly caused Lin Dong to feel a little depressed. While Lin Dong stamped his feet from being depressed and frustrated, the mysterious skeleton in the sky had already completely absorbed the curse power within the Nirvana pills. With a wave of its bone hands, these Nirvana pills once again returned to the Qunkin bag and under Lin Dong's shocked gaze, the bag was thrown back to him. As he stared at the Qunkin bag that floated in front of him, Lin Dong was clearly in a daze. Moments later, he suddenly grabbed it and looked to the mysterious skeleton in surprise. The other party had actually voluntarily helped him remove the curse power within these Nirvana pills. After getting rid of the curse power within the Nirvana pills, the mysterious skeleton once again slowly bowed towards the black symbol before turning and leaving. Faintly, an endlessly aged, coarse, and vague voice passed through space and echoed around the plains. Master. I will protect, sect, even if my body dies and my will fades, I will protect. When he heard the coarse voice that echoed at his ears, Lin Dong was a little taken aback. His eyes looked towards the far-off mysterious skeleton as respect filled his heart. Even if the body died, 
that will still control its body to guard the sect. This will, how strong could it be? The cohesiveness of the ancient sect is truly astonishing, however, it's a pity that they were still unable to escape their destruction, little Martin mumbled. Lin Dong gently nodded his head. He could imagine what a tyrannical existence this ancient sect was at its heyday. With such bonded disciples, there was no worry of the sect going out of fashion. We've really profited from the disaster this time. Not only did we keep our lives, even the hidden danger was eliminated. Lin Dong tossed the Qunkin bag in his hand and smiled. If it was not for the mysterious skeleton, they would likely have been unable to discover the curse power inside the Nirvana pills. If by any chance the Nirvana pills were consumed, the consequences would truly be too severe. Let us first leave this place. That ghastly thing relies on its will to guard this place, for it, we are after all trespassers. Little Martin prompted. Lin Dong nodded his head. This time, if it were not for the black symbol's sudden appearance, it would likely be a different situation. Moreover, even if they relied on Little Martin's ability to escape this disaster, the calamity of the Nirvana pills would be unavoidable. All in all, it is possible to say that the black symbol had saved them twice. Let's go. The energy vortex originally on the planes had already been forcibly destroyed by the mysterious skeleton in the battle previously. Hence, Lin Dong could only find another exit. He flipped onto the tiger's back and with a wave of his hand, Little Flame opened its blood-colored wings as it transformed into a red flash which flew towards the horizon. Without the mysterious skeleton chasing them, Lin Dong was undoubtedly much more relaxed and no longer urged Little Flame to increase its speed. The haul from this great wasteland's ancient tablet trip could be regarded as rather large. Not only did he obtain a high-class symbol puppet, he had also obtained an astonishingly formidable manifestation martial art, the great desolate imprisoning heavenly finger. Although he did not manage to achieve a victorious outcome when he used it before, Lin Dong had relied on it to withstand a blow from the mysterious skeleton. From a certain point of view, this already proved the might of this martial art. Though that attack was merely a casual blow of the mysterious skeleton, it would already enough to allow Lin Dong to be proud of himself. After all, even in the entire Great Yan Empire, that mysterious skeleton was likely an invincible existence. With little flame's speed, Lin Dong once again flew for about several tens of minutes before finding an energy vortex that led to the outside world. Around this vortex, many panicked and frightened practitioners were frantically dashing in. Evidently, they had already been horrified by the mysterious skeleton's terrifying power. Even if they were now told that the mysterious skeleton had already returned, it was likely that no one would dare to stay behind in the ancient tablet space to seek treasures. Go, we'll first leave this place. As he stared at the exit, Lin Dong felt a weight off his shoulders as he sighed in relief. The ancient tablet space journey was truly considered as being surrounded by danger. If it were not for their luck, they would have forfeited their lives and be buried within this desolate ruins. Ha, Teng Lei, you wanted to leave me to die, yet you would never have imagined that this young master's life is great. Wait till I come out, I will definitely cause a huge commotion in your ghastly puppet cult. A cold light flickered in Lin Dong's eyes. Although Wang Tong and Lin Langtian had also tried to sabotage him, debts must be paid one by one. Since he was currently in the great desolate province, he would first find trouble for the ghastly puppet cult. Moreover, the devouring ancestral symbol was in the ghastly puppet cult's hands. Since that was so, these debts will be paid starting from here. A vicious look flashed across Lin Dong's face as Little Flame transformed into a red flash and dashed into the energy vortex, before disappearing from sight. Clearly, next will be the showdown between Lin Dong and the ghastly puppet cult. Chapter 300 Strength Upgrade in the deepest part of the great desolate ancient plains, a humongous great wasteland's ancient tablet quietly stood. The ancient tablet gave off an incomparably majestic energy undulation. Circle after circle of energy vortex continuously formed above the ancient tablet, and from time to time, some ragged groups of people would charge out of the vortex in fear. When these people came out, 
they heavily sighed in relief. Not daring to stay any longer, they hastily escaped in groups away from the great desolate ancient plains like startled birds. Evidently, these guys had all been truly frightened by the mysterious skeleton inside the ancient tablet space. Now that they had escaped after much difficulty, they would naturally not dare to stay here anymore. Ch. An energy vortex whirled above the ancient tablet as a blood-colored shadow flew out and soon after appeared in the sky. It was Lin Dong who had successfully escaped from the mysterious skeleton's hands. Phew! While gazing at the scenery of the outside world, Lin Dong let out a heavy sigh of relief. Although the outside world Yuan power was far from being as vigorous as the ancient tablet space, it gave him a sense of safety. Looks like the four great clans, the ghastly puppet cult and the other factions have already retreated. Lin Dong sat on the tiger's back as he scanned his surroundings. Currently, there were very few people around the Great Wasteland's ancient tablet. It was no longer as grand as when they were about to enter. Evidently, the factions that had escaped from the ancient tablet space had already swiftly left this area. Those gutless scoundrels. The corners of Lin Dong's mouth raised as he sneered in his heart. However, it was good that they had left. His current condition was not good as he had practically used all his strength in the previous exchange with the mysterious skeleton. He was still worrying that situation would become a little troublesome if Tang Lei and the rest were waiting outside for him. Now that they had gone, it gave him a period of time to recuperate. What do you plan on doing now? Little Martin sat on Lin Dong's shoulder. Though it had not used its last resort to bring Lin Dong away, its condition was also not very good and its eyes were slightly dim. Let's first find a place to have a good rest. Lin Dong pondered for a while before replying. This time, Little Martin and Little Flame had reaped some rather good benefits. In particular, Little Martin had obtained the Blood Bat Dragon's demonic spirit. If it was successfully refined, Little Martin's strength would definitely not be weaker than the manifestation stage. For Lin Dong, this was undoubtedly a huge help. As for Little Flame, it had also obtained the Blood Bat Dragon's blood power. When it completely assimilated this blood power, its strength should soar. At that time, Lin Dong would truly possess the qualifications to challenge a huge faction like the Ghastly Puppet Cult. Hence, the top priority now was to let Little Martin and Little Flame quickly refine the demonic spirit and blood. Little Martin was fairly in favor of Lin Dong's words and when he saw this, without wasting any more time, he patted Little Flame as the latter shook its enormous blood wings and swiftly flew towards out of the great desolate ancient plains. The great desolate ancient wastelands was now rather chaotic and thus the ghastly puppet cult naturally did not have any thoughts of leaving behind men to see if Lin Dong was dead or alive. Hence, his exit from the great desolate ancient plains was extremely smooth. Afterwards, he found a quiet and nice spot. Kid, next I will go all out in refining the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit. The matter of protection will fall to you. Once they landed from the sky, little Martin figure swept onto a boulder beside the lake and sat down. It opened its mouth as a blood-colored light flew out from its body and transformed into a mini fierce-looking blood bat dragon which continuously roared at little Martin. He <laughs> he, being refined by Grandpa Martin is your good fortune. When it saw the constantly roaring blood bat dragon's demonic spirit, little Martin let out a weird laughter. A purplish black ball of light shot out from its mouth and directly wrapped around the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit as a frightening corrosive power diffused out bit by bit preparing to completely refine the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit. Roar! While Little Martin started to refine the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit, Little Flame also released a low roar and lay on the ground. Circle after circle of blood-colored light constantly seeped out from its body as it quietly lay flat on the ground, allowing the blood-colored aura to constantly flow outside its body. However, as it silently lay there, its aura gradually became ferocious, as if a faint and formidable pressure was spreading out from Little Flame's body, causing some of the demonic beasts in the nearby forests to hastily flee in shock. As he gazed at the Martin and Tiger entered a cultivating state, Lin Dong could only helplessly shake his head. 
he waved his sleeve and summoned the high-class symbol puppet before casually flinging several thousand pure Yuan pills into its body, allowing it to guard this place like a statue. Ever since he had taken care of the two old fellows who wanted to snatch the blood bat dragon's corpse, Lin Dong's purse had clearly expanded a little and was now able to support a little expenditure. After doing this, Lin Dong let out a sigh of relief before gently closing his eyes and gradually entering into a cultivation state, absorbing the Yuan power of the land into his body bit by bit to fill his already dried up Yuan Dan and Danshan. Within the deep forest, a human and two beasts quietly entered into a cultivation state besides the lake. Only a symbol puppet faithfully stood guard to one side, vigorous energy undulations rippling about its body, causing some of the demonic beasts to not dare to come forward even the slightest bit. Lin Dong's cultivation lasted for half a day before ending. When he opened his eyes, Little Martin and Little Flame still gave no signs of awakening. In front of Little Martin, a purplish black light ball slowly spun, faintly, one could see the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit within it. However, the demonic spirit now no longer roared, and its figure had become much more illusionary. As for Little Flame, it was shrouded in blood-colored light just like a huge blood ball which completely wrapped around Little Flame's body. When he saw this, Lin Dong was helpless and could only continue to silently wait for the outcome of the two beasts' cultivation. This wait lasted for five whole days. During these five days, Little Martin and Little Flame did show any activity at all. Yet, Lin Dong was able to faintly sense that the two beasts' auras were swiftly becoming stronger. In the morning of the fifth day, when the black clouds were torn apart and sunlight shined down to reflect off the clear waters of the lake, Lin Dong's lightly shut eyes suddenly opened as he swiftly turned towards Little Martin's direction. At this moment, wave of after wave of strange undulations were spreading out from the purplish black light ball in front of the latter. As these undulations spread, faintly, there seemed to be an extremely low pitch roar being emitted from Little Martin's body. The roar was extremely strange. It was not a dragon's roar but the power contained within was not weaker than a dragon's in the slightest. Under Lin Dong's nervous gaze, Little Martin's eyes which had been tightly shut for five days opened in a flash. Within its eyes, purplish black light flowed, meanwhile, an extremely powerful aura exploded from its body like a storm. Boom! The serene surface of the lake exploded with a loud bang as water vapor filled the air. Later on, this water vapor actually combined with some Yuna power forming a tremendous figure that was several hundred meters large above Little Martin's head. The figure was shaped like a Martin and its incomparably enormous purple wings unfolded, hiding the sky and covering the earth as an overflowing and terrible aura that could swallow the world slowly gushed forth. As the unique and terrible aura spread out, all of demonic beasts in the mountains immediately released roars of fear. It looked as if they had seen something terrifying. Is this the celestial demon Martin's true body? Lin Dong stared in shock at the enormous figure. From this figure, he could feel an extremely terrifying undulation. Even existences as powerful as the blood bat dragon and the ancient dragon ape were far from being able to compare to this kind of undulation. Looks like the celestial demon Martin is indeed rather renowned in the demonic beast world. Lin Dong rubbed his chin. No wonder little Martin was normally so proud of itself, it turns out that there was a reason for this. Hwa hwa. The huge figure did not last for long before starting to surge as it transformed into a pillar of chi which was directly gulped down by Little Martin. It patted its stomach in satisfaction as it stood up on the boulder. Although its body was still mini like before, its figure was much more material than it was previously. Clearly, refining the blood bat dragon's demonic spirit had allowed its power to recover a little. You've succeeded. Lin Dong was also a little joyful as he asked. That old fogey Hwagu from before, Grandpa Martin is now able to turn him to mincemeat with a single slap. Upon hearing this, little Martin could not help but proudly declare. When he saw that this fellow had again become so proud of itself, Lin Dong could only spread out his hands. As expected, no matter how its strength rose, that character would never change the slightest bit. Roar. While Lin Dong was delighted over the end of Little Martin's cultivation, nearby, 
a world-shaking tiger roar abruptly rang out. Lin Dong's gaze swiftly turned, incomparably happy as he watched the red light all over Little Flame swiftly condensing at this moment. In the end, under Lin Dong's nervous gaze, it slowly condensed into a palm-sized mini blood tiger. This mini blood tiger was a little illusionary, yet it gave off an inexhaustibly lively aura. Furthermore, the light within the tiger's eyes were full of spirit and intelligence. Evidently, with the help of the blood bat dragon's blood power, Little Flame had finally successfully formed a demonic spirit. From now on, its power would rise greatly. The current Lin Dong's battle power was now truly tyrannical. 